So again, we need graphene quality. This one seems a little bit easier. Um, we know already by looking at it that my x-intercepts are x equals negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Uh, we've already got it set equal to 0, so we should be in good shape. Now, remember, this is a polynomial function that when you multiply it out, it's going to be a positive odd. So if I were to just graph this in general, um, this is going to end up going, starting up, coming down through negative 1, coming back up through negative 2, and finishing down through negative 3, like that. Okay, so um, my, in general, my, my points that I'm looking at are down here at, at these three. Those are my partitions. Okay, now I can test points. It would be nice to test. Uh, use a calculator and, and uh, because this alternates, um, plug in for x, uh, a point between negative 1 and 2 maybe, like negative 1 and a half or negative 3 halves. Um, you could test that all you want, but we should know how to graph this. So I know that when we're looking for greater than or equal to, that from negative 1, and everything to the right is going to be above the x-axis. From between negative 3 and uh, negative 2 is also going to be above the x-axis, everything in here. Um, so that's my graph. This is going to, your interval notation is going to be negative 3 to negative 2 union, um, and I blew that already because those should have been square brackets. Sorry about that. Square bracket, negative 3 to negative 2 square bracket union square bracket, negative 1 to infinity round bracket. And we're done. And like I said, if you wanted to test points, grab your calculator, plug them in, and, and see where they come out, see if it's true or false. But we should understand the graph pretty easily on that one anyway.